Now in this question, we've got the curve C, which has equation y equals 2 minus 1 over x, x not equal to 0. And this curve crosses the x-axis at point A. And we've got the sketch over here of y equals 2 minus 1 over x, the curve C in red. And you can see it crosses the x-axis at this point A. And we've got to find the coordinates of that point A. And then we've got to show that the equation of the normal at C okay, at A can be written as 2x plus 8y minus 1 equals 0. That's the equation of this blue line. OK, well, in the first part, how do we find the coordinates of this point A? Well, very simply, it's clearly the point where y is 0. So we can say at A, y equals 0. And so, therefore, what we're going to have is 0 equals 2 minus 1 over x, if we substitute it into our equation. And then we could say add 1 over x to both sides, so therefore 1 over x equals 2. And if we then multiply both sides by x, we get 1 equals 2x. Divide now by 2 and you end up with x equaling 1 half. So therefore the coordinates of a are going to be 1 half and then 0. All right, so that is part A of our question. Now, for part B, let's just put part B here. How are we going to do this? How are we going to show that the equation of the normal to C at A can be written as 2x plus 8y minus 1 equals 0? Well, first of all, I've got to get the gradient of the tangent at this point A. And once I've got the gradient of that tangent, I'm going to find the negative reciprocal of it because that will give me the gradient of our normal. And then when I've got that, I'm going to use the form the, of a straight line. And that form is y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1, where x1, y1 is a point on the line, and we know that point, a. x1 is going to be a half, and y1 is going to be 0. So, they're the ingredients, basically, to doing this particular problem. So, we start off by getting m, the gradient, first of all, of the tangent at the point a. And we do that by differentiating the equation of the curve. So we need to take our equation and get it in the form that's suitable for differentiating. And this term is not in the correct format. So we can change this to 2 minus x to the power minus 1. Remember, 1 over x to the power n is x to the power minus n. And this is x to the power 1 in this case. Right, OK, so now we should be able to differentiate this in the usual way. So therefore, dy by dx equals. Now, for constant, that's going to go to 0. But for a term like this, we multiply the power, minus 1, by the number in front of x, which is minus 1. So minus 1 times minus 1 is 1. And I could just write that in. And then we subtract 1 from the power. So it's x to the power minus 2. 1x to the power minus 2. It's best to change this to 1 times whatever x to the minus 2 is, which is 1 over x squared. 1 times 1 over x squared is going to give me 1 over x squared. So that's the gradient then, in general, at any point on this curve C. So we're looking at the point A. So we can say that when x equals a half, OK, at A, we can see what dy dx is going to be. Well, again, we'll come down here. So we can see that when x equals a half at A, dy by dx turns out to equal 1 over a half squared. 1 divided by a half all squared. A half all squared is a quarter. One divided by a quarter is four. So that's the gradient then of the tangent today. 
Now we want the gradient of the normal and we're in a position to get that so therefore the gradient of the normal okay gradient of normal at A always good to write these intros what's it going to equal so it's going to be the negative reciprocal of this gradient that will be minus 1 over 4 now I've got the gradient I've got my x1 y1 so I'm in a position to find the equation of the normal so we can say therefore the equation okay of the normal at a okay at a is so what is it going to be it's going to be y minus y1 we'll put that zero in okay the zero here and then it equals m the gradient minus a quarter multiplied by x minus x1 x minus a half so what I'd want to do now is multiply out say the bracket so we've got y equals minus a quarter x and then minus a quarter times minus a half is going to be plus one eighth and now I could multiply through by 8 so I'm going to get therefore 8y equals and then if I multiply this by 8 then minus a quarter times 8 is going to give me minus 2x and then multiply 1 8 by 8 and you get plus 1 and you should be able to see that this is now starting to look very similar to this all I've got to do is just rearrange this that is add 2x to both sides and subtract 1 from both sides so it follows okay that if I do that I end up with 2x plus 8y minus 1 equals 0 the equation then of the normal at a all right